Welcome back to LabVIEW Basics. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section we're going to talk about the places you can find help in LabVIEW. So the first thing we'll look at is called the Example Finder, and this is a great place to start when you're trying to learn something new in LabVIEW. So from the Getting Started window or any VI, you can click on Help and choose Find Examples. This launches the LabVIEW Example Finder. By default, we're in Browse mode. So let's say we want to learn how to read and write text from a file. Well, that's under Fundamentals, File Input and Output, and Text. Here are some example VIs for reading and writing from a text file. I could also use the Search tab to search for something. For example, Text File. This brings up a bunch of results, and we can see the second one is the Write to Text File and Read from Text File VI. Both Search and Browse have the same examples, and it's just two different methods to find what you're looking for. So I'll open the Write to Text File and Read from Text File VI. That launches the example, and I'll press Control E to see the block diagram, and you can see we have documented code that's ready to run to read and write from a text file. Sometimes though, it's not obvious what each of these VIs are. So in order to learn more about the VIs on a block diagram, I'll use Context Help. So I'll click Help and Show Context Help, or use the hotkey Control H. That brings up the floating Context Help window, which changes based on whatever VI you're hovering over. So let's walk through this code. We can see first we build a path, then we delete the file if it exists, we write to the text file, and then read from that file. Context help gives us a description of the VI as well as all of the input and output terminals. For more details on those, we can click the detailed help link from the context help window or right click on the VI and choose help. And this brings up detailed help. The detailed help gives a description of the VI and more details about each of the inputs and outputs, as well as a link to related examples at the bottom. The LabVIEW help also contains sections on things like activating your software, LabVIEW fundamentals, and hardware I.O. So it's a great resource to utilize. And remember, the LabVIEW Maker Hub community is here to help. If you have questions, join us in the forums and we'll be happy to help you out. In the next section, we'll talk about while loops. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.